Okay, folks, this is a Quantum Edge 3. This is the latest one they just came out with not too long ago. It's the last version of the Quantum, Quantum Edge 3. So this power chair has got the electric tilt and the electric uh, seat lift. Seat lift and electric tilt. The legs are manual and the back is manual. Okay, so, and, but it also has the light, the light kit for the lights, which we'll cover in a few minutes. So to make the seat go up, you would do it through the joystick. And also this chair only has two miles. So beautiful dark blue power, dark blue chair with two miles. So it's brand new just about. It does have the 12 inch seat lift and the electric tilt, the two most important function. To do those functions, you would go through the joystick. And as soon as you touch the knob, the light will come back on, just like this. The light comes on, then you keep going forward until you see the picture of the seat. So right now it's set up as a tilt. I'm going to keep, I'm going to move the joystick. Now we've only got the seat lift. And use your joystick right here to make the seat go up. This is 12 inches. So you're going to start about 22 and by the time you're up you'll be at 34 inches. Okay. 12 inches from the ground to the top of the eye level looking at something. That's why they call them eye level. So this is the 12 inch seat lift right there. And another thing about these chairs right here, I'm going to put it back in drive. This chair still drives at 3 miles an hour with the seat elevated. So I can't make it go that fast in here, but but this chair boogies. It really boogies. I'm thinking about golf here. So anyway, so this power chair will still drive three miles an hour with the seat elevated. Now, if you're going to drive with the seat elevated, you know, in the house, flat surfaces, don't go outside when it's all crooked and you're just asking for trouble. They're a very nice chair. They're top of the line in engineering and suspension, but they're not golf carts. Okay, so treat them well and they'll last you a long time. You can see the actual actuator right here is right here for the seat lift. You can see how well the armature, it's a four point seat lift. Very, very, very solid, keeping the chair up solid. We've got an anchor point here, anchor point here to tie your chair to your lift, to your van. There's two on each side, there's a total of four anchor points. We've got 14 inch solid wheels with matching colors on the top, middle, and on the wheel. Uh, you can see it's, a, it's an edge three. Caster wheels in the front, caster wheels in the back. You've got a motor like all power chair for each wheel. So there's two motors on all power chairs. You've got one here, there's one on the opposite side. This chair weighs probably 350 pounds, if not 400 pounds. You can't move it right now, it's in gear. So if you turn the power off and lower the seat down, all you have to do to put it in neutral is push this lever down and you're in neutral. Do both wheels on both sides. You can push wherever you want to go. Back in gear, turn your power back on, and you're back in gear. Okay? The suspension on this chair, you got a huge suspension in front on both sides. You can see the suspension there, and you have the same suspension in the back right here, across, and you can adjust that suspension by turning this ring in here to make the suspension tighter or looser, okay? Back here, you've got nothing to worry about, okay? It's all, oh, you do have the headrest. So the headrest, as you can see, it's fully adjustable. You can adjust this headrest, you can have it higher, lower, and you, if you don't want the headrest, a lot of people don't even use it. You can just take it off, and you can also make it higher. By adjusting this ring right here, you can adjust the height of the headrest, okay? So, I'm going to bring it back down, I'm going to bring the seat down, I'm going to put it back on the seat lift, and bring the seat back down. This chair has got a swing away joystick, so if you can swing the joystick away from the front like that, to get you closer to a table. Everything is set up on the right hand side. If you're left handed, we can switch this to the left side with no issues at all, it's not hard for us to do. So now this is your swing away joystick. Back to your front. The front, the next, the next function I'm going to show is called the electric tilt. The electric tilt is the base right here going back. Of course, when you have tilt, 
This is connected, and this is connected. So all of it is going to go with the, with the tilt. This is called electric tilt. So if you want it to be tilted, this is where you would be, tilted. Um, that's, a, that's your full electric tilt. I'm going to bring it back down. As a matter of fact, I want to leave it tilted a little bit. Well, I can't do it. I'm going to bring it all the way down. I'm going to show you a couple more things too. So I'm all the way back down almost. Okay. Now I'm going to put it back in drive. These legs in front are manual legs, meaning they won't go up and down by themselves. But right here on this side, you probably don't know where it's at, but right here there's a lever right here. If I pull that lever, okay, I'm not quite sure, okay, I can make the legs go up like this, or I can bring it all the way down to here. So they're adjustable just by pulling the lever whatever angle you want them. There's a lever right here, so you technically have to be out of the chair to adjust where you want to have these legs. And these foot plates can be adjusted up and down manually. There's two screws right here. You can't see them, but they're a little long right now. So wherever, wherever this chair was set up for, it's probably six foot tall. The back of the chair is also a manual back. So if you needed to, if this back is too straight, you want it more reclined, the only thing you have to do is take this cover off right here. This blue cover has four screws. One, two, three, four. The cover comes up. There's a little handle here with a piston. You pull the handle down, bring the seat to whatever degree you want. Whatever you find a comfortable degree for your loved one, you let the handle go, put the cover back on. And so, so it's a manual back with manual legs. So, so this chair has the 12-inch uh, seat lift and the electric tilt. The two other functions, the, the legs and the back, are manual. Okay, so just remember that. This chair has two miles, so when you, uh, it's a mid-wheel drive, so when you go in a circle, it has a really good turning circle, turning radius. I'm going to give it a little more speed here. Very quiet, too. The arms on this chair do flip up, so if you transfer from the side, you just flip the arms up. We do have lights on this chair. The light button is right here, but I'm going to move that. I'm going to put it under here. I'd rather have it here, because here, as soon as, as, soon as you bump it, the light come on, and you can see the headlights. And I'm going to turn the chair and start to get to the back lights here in a minute. Those are your headlights. You can see the lights on the wall. So it does have the light kit on here, which is nice, and the light the switch is here, but I'm going to move it under here when you get the chair, unless you want to keep it there, but I would not, I would not keep it there, you're asking for trouble. If you go through a door, you're likely to break this. Uh, it does have a safety belt, and we have a nice 18 by 20 cushion, 18 wide, 20 deep cushion. This is foam here, but all this in here, all this, it feels like pudding. But it's uh, it's gel, so the whole the whole bottom back of the cushion is gel. You do have a safety belt. When you charge the batteries in this chair, you take your your quantum charger and you plug it below your joystick. And as soon as the light turns green, it'll go from orange to green. The charger will stop. The light will still be green, but it will not be charging. So the charger knows when the batteries are full. The lights are on again. There we go. So let's recap. If you're looking for the latest power chair, but you only need the 12 inch seat lift and you only need the tilt, and you want a chair with two miles, which has or no miles, swing away, gel cushion, the light kit, calf support here to support your leg to stay on the foot plate, with two miles, new condition, this would be a really, really nice one.
So this is the Quantum Edge 3 power chair. Practically brand new with two miles on it. Uh, chair is practically brand new. It's beeping right now because it needs new batteries. So uh, this chair has been sitting without being used, so we have to put new batteries in it. So as soon as you, as soon as we ship it to you, we'll have new batteries in it. The suspension is fantastic. Six miles an hour it drives. No problem through the grass. Very easy to drive. If I put it on the first speed, this is your first speed right here. That's the full first speed. So, you can go from what I would say practically not moving to six miles an hour. Great suspension. It does have the light kit. It's just a sharp, sharp looking power chair. So if you need just the seat lift and the electric tilt, then you don't need the electric leg and the electric recline. Of course, this will be the chair. This chair will be less in price, but it, it would be a nice addition. It's ready Hi, to go. I'm Mark, and my name is Alex. We are a family-owned business for over 25 years. We have many products available, not just what you see in this video. If you would like to learn more, you can call the number below at 800. 677-6293 or you can visit us directly at www.marksmobility.com